This weekend, we're honoring the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And as the nation celebrates, so do people in Dane County. Adam Dexter tells us how recent events of alleged bigotry in Middleton had an impact on a celebration of Dr. King's life today. Adam. Amanda, leaders at the MLK Forum for Social Change did not shy away from talking about the events that have happened recently at Dane County Schools, but they are taking the time to celebrate how far things have come. Dancing, singing, and spoken word, all part of an effort to redefine what this holiday weekend is all about. For the past few years, I've just been frustrated with the typical I have a dream MLK. MLK is so much more than what we always tend to see over this weekend around his I have a dream speech. Percy Brown, the CEO of Critical Consciousness Education, says there has long been an idea that the impacts of Jim Crow did not reach Wisconsin. And the narrative around issues of racism has always been it's been in the South. But speakers at tonight's event shared their personal stories of racism they've experienced firsthand for the desegregation of public schools 62 years ago. They also acknowledged the presence of racism in our schools today. A Middleton teacher is currently on leave for allegedly using a racial slur in front of a student. And this is one of several incidents of teachers using slurs in the classroom around the area. It's our new reality. Because of the national climate, uh, these things have resurfaced. Brown says it's important to address what's happening in order to make progress. If we, you know, try not to confront those issues, then things won't change. Tonight's event, a celebration of how far the communities around us have come, but looking towards how Dane County can continue to grow. We have some work to do, and to blame that on, on black people or, you know, uh, allowing stereotypes to kind of be the reason why we're seeing what we're seeing, that's not, that's not justice. And at tonight's event, one man shared his experience of going through the desegregation process himself as a young man. Under how short of a time ago that was in America's history. All right, thank you so much, Adam. And if you missed this event, there are a number of other MLK Day events around the area in the next few days. Tomorrow is the Martin Luther King Jr. Outstanding Young Person Breakfast at the Edgewood High School. For 35 years, the event has celebrated students of color and their academic achievement, extracurricular involvement, and service to their community. It's hosted by the Urban League of the Greater Madison Area and the King Coalition. We will be there and bring you that story tomorrow on News 3 at 10. President Trump